Okay, Drudge. Uh, Action Jackson asks, Drudge report, the House Judiciary Committee will begin investigating into pos possible obstruction of justice and abuse of power of President Donald Trump. Do you think they have a case or is this just more shenanigans? Yeah, I mean, I think everything has a case. I think, I, you know, I don't view all these investigations as completely bogus any more than the investigation Republicans did on Obama, which were endless, or the, or the sex scandal impeachment of Bill Clinton in, in, you know, by Republicans back then. I mean, these are all, I think, overall relatively trivial issues as compared to the evil ideology people like Trump and Clinton and Obama held. And I wish the attacks were ideological. I wish the attacks were about content and substance and the, the, the essence of the presidency and the, role, the, the, the meaning of the role of government. But yeah, I mean, why wouldn't they go after him? He is he's open to that. He, ref, he refused to reduce his taxes. Uh, he, he's got all these relationships with the Russians, which he did not disclose, that hotel that he was going to build while the campaign was going on. There's, there's all kind of shenanigans going on in the, in the background. He, he talks and acts like a, a, a mafia boss. He, you know, so, you know, I, you know, why wouldn't they? Politically? It's a no-brainer for them to do this. And so is it shenanigans or do they have a case? I think both. It's shenanigans because this isn't the core of the problem with Trump and this isn't the core of what we should be going after. But has he opened himself up to these kind of things? Absolutely. And, you know, he has a lawyer like, like, like this Cohen guy who's clearly a scumbag. I mean, if you hire a scumbag as a lawyer, what does that say about you? Something important, I think. Um, if you hire a lawyer that talks and acts like he's a lawyer of a mafiosa, what does that say about you? Something important, I think. So, yeah, I mean, Donald Trump has opened himself to that. It doesn't surprise me and it doesn't horrify me in particular. This is the kind of thing happen in a two-party political system where one party's in power and one party's out of power. They go after each other and as soon as the one party gets a bit of power, they use it to go after the president, again, Republicans did this with Clinton. They were just looking for an excuse to go after him. And they were looking for stuff to do with Obama. They just could never find the issue. I mean, remember, this, this is a president who during the Obama years was hounding the president about the fact that he wasn't born in the U.S. He was a birther. He's a conspiracy theory birther. That's who you elected president of the United States. So why wouldn't the Democrats go after him? Why wouldn't they invent conspiracy theories? Why wouldn't they pursue the Russia affair? I mean, this is a president who has openly supported conspiracy theories. So, you know, you, you play that game, you're going to suffer from that game. Absolutely. So why anybody's surprised, why anybody's shocked, why anybody's offended by it is shocking to me. I mean, this is exactly what you'd expect from a president like this.